And here it is, the last lap in the season-long race for the trophy. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the biggest final in club football, the Champions League final. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box, as always, by the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're just minutes away from kickoff time. It's Galatasaray against Atletico Madrid. Well, Derek, it doesn't come any better than this, does it? This has the makings of an absolute classic. These are two brilliant teams, and at the moment, I can't separate them. And the starting 11 for Galatasaray. Well, they're playing with two strikers. One will look to stretch the pitch by making forward runs. The other will look to get on the ball and make things happen. But it's still important that they work as a pair. And this is the starting lineup for Atletico. Jan Oblak gets the nod in goal. Jose Maria Jimenez plays with Stefan Savic in central defence. Koke starts alongside Rodrigo de Paul in central midfield. And up front, Morata starts alongside Antoine Griezmann. And they're underway now in the Champions League final. We're about to find out which team is the best in Europe. Wilfried Zaha. Angelino. Mertens. Icardi. Not the easiest of situations for the keeper. Playing it short. Oliveira. Here's Icardi, being egged on by the crowd. Well, he didn't miss by much. Well, it was struck well, but he'll be disappointed not to test the keeper. It really did open up for him there. And the keeper's given it away inexcusably. Couldn't make it 1-0. Maybe not quite warmed up. Well, that should have been the opener. He has to hit the target from there. Must take the lead here. Oh, in it goes! The opening goal in the UEFA Champions League final. Well, here's the replay, and it has been coming. They've played some great football in this game, and they fully deserve this goal. Back in action then. Let's see if Atletico, having conceded, can wipe out that last goal. Carrasco. Reynildo. Decent position for Atletico to find themselves in. It's a perfect challenge. Well, borderline offside, but correct. Nelson. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Mertens putting his body on the line and the referee says penalty
to extend their lead here. And there it is, perfectly executed. Well, here it is again, and just watch the keeper. He stands still, hoping it's hit down the middle. Unfortunately for him, he's got it wrong. So the ball rolling again at 2-0. The pass could do damage. Still could be dangerous. And he gobbles up the second chance. Disappointment for the keeper. No wonder he's asking questions of his defence. Well, here's the replay. And this is what you're always told as a kid. Go for the far post. Make it difficult for the keeper. And then hope your teammate is ready for any rebound. He does exactly that and they get their reward. What a good goal that was. This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. Well, spot on with that challenge. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? Just can't get it past the wall. Well, as those stats tell us, Galatasaray have controlled much of the possession and as a result have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch and I don't think anything's going to change that. Not much time to make up his mind. Griezmann. Koke with it. Griezmann. Firing it in. And it wasn't taxing for the keeper. Wilfried Zaha. Loves to attack from the wide areas. And still looking to get the shot off. A goal! How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat-trick. Well, here we can see it again. And no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tighter here, deal with the danger. Otherwise, that's the outcome. Not good enough defensively. Well, this is threatening to get out of hand. Just look at the scoreline. And over the middle towards Yannick Carrasco. And beating the defender. Griezmann. That's high-level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good keeper. Over it comes. Terrific save. Elects to go short. Advantage Atletico. Oh, you don't want to lose the ball in that position. Just missing narrowly on the volley. Well, it's a fantastic effort. Difficult technique, but he caught it so well. He's unfortunate. And so the half-time whistle has gone here. Forty-five minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Breaking at pace. Morata. Griezmann. Just the challenge that was required. Well, he certainly wasn't offside by a mile. Well, they've given him too much space. And Galatasaray have it back now. 
The referee has decided to give the free kick to Atletico. Carrasco. Can he take the chance? The save was a good one. Short corner it is. Splendid tackle and a throw-in coming up. Griezmann. And the referee's verdict is penalty kick. Well, he's avoided a booking, but the complaints continue. And I can understand why. I think it's a poor fat. The crossbar got in the way. Well, too close to the goalkeeper to really pose a threat. We're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. And the referee doesn't hesitate. That is a spot kick. In it goes. A well-taken penalty. Well, not too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. Very quick thinking there. Marcos Llorente. Sustained pressure, and now they have the ball. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. And there to intervene. Torreira. Torreira. Oliveira. The supporters want to see him have a go. Able to get a body in the way. Reinildo. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. And cuts inside. Atletico regaining possession here. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. Sergio Oliveira. Well, we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. Zaha delivered into the box well just couldn't quite control the header and a disappointing effort in the end and here's a change now for Atletico possession one five minutes left for play and all pretty decisive Oliveira And Depay on the ball. Koke. And given away by Atletico. Oh, that pass easy on the eye. Well, nothing comes of it in the end because the flag has gone up, Stuart. Well, he knew where the space was, but he's just been too eager. And that's why he's offside. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. Reynildo. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. And the referee sees that as a foul. Free kick given. And there it is! Full time! They are the Champions League winners! Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives and they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. 
It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. Here we go. The Champions League winners. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. What would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters? Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night. Well, these are the moments they have to make the most of. It doesn't happen very often, does it? These will be photos to cherish for years to come. Brilliant stuff. And you are looking at the best club side in Europe.